What is a solid state relay? How to choose it? What applications is it suitable for? If you want to know the answers to these questions, stay with us until the end of the video. A solid state relay, SSR, is an advanced electronic switch that uses semiconductor components to control electrical power without any moving parts. In this part, we're looking at two types of SSRs, a three-phase relay and a single-phase relay. These relays control circuits using electronic components instead of mechanical ones, making them faster, more reliable, and longer lasting than traditional mechanical relays. Now let's take a closer look at the internal components of the single phase relay. As you can see, the cover has been removed, showing the key parts inside. These include the control input, the power output section, and the semiconductor switching elements that allow the relay to work. A solid state relay operates by using semiconductors to control the switching process. The control side and the power side are kept separate by an optocoupler. When the control input is activated, it triggers the semiconductor, allowing current to flow through to the output circuit. The control side of SSRs typically works with DC voltage, but some models can handle AC voltage as well. The output side can be designed for either AC or DC voltage. It's important to choose the right type of relay for your specific application. Now let's zoom in on the heart of the relay, the semiconductor. This component is what actually switches the output on and off. For AC applications, devices like anti-parallel thyristors or tracks are commonly used because they handle AC power well. For DC, MOSFETs and transistors are often used. When the control signal is turned off, tracks and thyristors don't switch off immediately. They only turn off when the current drops to zero. This is especially useful for inductive loads, as it prevents too much stress on the switches. That's why solid state relays usually don't need a snubber circuit, though one is often added for extra safety and voltage spikes. Applications that require precise on-off switching are best suited for transistor or MOSFET designs since they aren't affected by the zero cross variations that SCR or triac devices might experience. If you liked the video so far, like it and subscribe to our channel. Next, let's take a look at a three phase solid state relay as you can see, it's a bit more complex due to the extra phases, but the basic working principle remains the same. Now let's check out the bare electronic board with no components attached. This is where all the relay parts will be placed. Step by step, the electronic components are added to the board. There are two main types of terminals, control terminals and power terminals. The control terminals send the activation signal to the relay, while the power terminals connect the relay to the load. Here you can see the semiconductor components on the back of the board. These are crucial for the relay's switching function and are positioned to ensure the best performance of the three-phase relay. Next, the heat sink is attached to the semiconductor components. This is an important step because the heat generated by the semiconductors needs to be dissipated to prevent overheating. Thermal paste is usually used between semiconductors and the heat sink. Finally, the relay is placed in its protective enclosure. This cover fully protects the board and its components from damage while making sure everything functions properly. If the current passing through the relay is high, a larger heat sink may be needed. This ensures that the relay can handle the extra heat and continue working safely. Now we see the relay with a larger heat sink installed underneath, ready to handle heavier loads without the risk of overheating. When selecting an SSR relay, keep in mind that for light applications like lighting and electric heaters, the relay's current rating should be two to three times higher than the rated current of the load. For inductive and motor loads, the relay's current rating should be about seven to eight times higher than the rated current. If you have any questions about SSR relays, or if there's something you think we missed, feel free to leave a comment below. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and share our content with your friends.